I have a confession to make. Chat wanted to come and say hi to the vlog. Once I've made this, we're gonna have a little bit of a sit down and catch up. Army jumper. Again, this is. It is currently nine o'clock, Wednesday. The normal time I should be uploading a weekly vlog, but I've not filmed anything this week. As I said in my last video, I'm having to slow down on the filming. I'm not doing anything that's really interesting during my week other than studying and streaming. But I'm filming today because I have a confession to make. I have not cleaned my apartment in a week. There are dishes with food in them piling up next to my sink. The floor is filthy. There is washing to be done, my sheets need to be cleaned, there is just a lot to clean and I'm going to take you guys with me because I love watching cleaning videos so I'm sure you guys love watching them too. One of my favourite things to do is to do time lapses in my vlog so that's pretty much what this whole entire video is going to be, me cleaning my house in time lapses and it's going to be super fun and super satisfying. So I'm very excited with for that but before we do that I need to have breakfast because I am starving. And recently I've just been having a boiled egg on toast. It's been like my favorite thing to have. I don't know why. I think it's just because like the egg, I have like a cold boiled egg on top of a nice warm bit of toast and a nice chocolate. Like you can't go wrong. I just realized I don't think I filled my ice tray, which means I might not be able to have a nice chocolate. There's four in here. We can make it work, guys. We can make it work. You know, straight up, I am a very clean person on a regular basis. So it is quite weird for me to leave my apartment in this sort of condition. I hate it. It makes me anxious. But I just, I have been really lazy. And I'm going to admit that I have been working my ass off studying and streaming. And streaming has just been... It's, going, it's been going wild, let's just say that. So I have not been wanting to clean, um, but we're doing it all today. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of an update on the last week. I've obviously been a bit lazy, um, but honestly, like I've been working really hard on trying to get my uni done and I've been working hard on my content I've been putting out on stream and I've been really proud of that but everything else is sort of put on the back burner including uni like I've been prioritizing streaming over uni which I know isn't good I know I need to focus on my uni and get it done and that's what my plan is today to get some of it done um but things that just asking me to do in my assessments are just nothing makes sense I'm giving I'm, I'm getting no information I can't find information online because it's stuff you can't just Google because it's all different with the different places you work at. So it's extremely hard to actually find the information for the answers. So I'm just having to contact other people in the uni to get help, which is not always the greatest thing to do, but I can't, don't have any other choice. The assessments take two days to get back to, which I don't have that amount of time to wait for one answer. So I'm just winging it right now. Yes, I got my hair cut, which you probably can't tell the difference now that I've slept on it, but. I have had it cut a tiny bit shorter and my curtain bangs are shorter as well. I'll put a photo in here of the before and after. Um, but I'm very, very happy with my haircut. It looks amazing. Another thing, all the stuff for Paris and London have been booked and I'm so excited. Mum told me she'd booked all the accommodation the day and it just made it so much more real. So I'm very, very excited for that. I've been really happy, so that's good. You know, since going off that pill, my mood's just been a hundred times better. Um, so yeah, can't, can't complain in that aspect. I have my subathon starting next week, which is super exciting. I'm doing a very belated birthday celebration, considering my birthday was in March. I'm only now celebrating it with my community. So it's gonna be really, really fun. I've got lots of things planned. And yes, I am a child and I take out my yolk. I don't like yolk, I hate the texture. It's actually disgusting, the texture of yolk. So don't come for me, okay? We should be lucky I don't cut off my crust. Also, something else that's been actually incredible is streams recently. Chat wanted to come and say hi to the vlog, so I'm going to show you guys a chat right now. And you guys can say hi to yourself from the future and the past. There we go. Everyone's saying hello. <laughs> You're all bent? Oh my gosh. 
There you go. That's what I see when I stream. For you guys who are coming from the from the Twitch stream, this is what I see of you guys. You're sitting right there. Have been like next level amazing. I, I don't know how to explain it. I went into one of my friend's streams after my stream last night and they're like, you know what? I really love your streams when you're just chatting and like you're talking more because you've got such a personal personality. And it's honestly so fun to just sit there listening to your talk. And I'm like, thank you because we all know I can talk for the entirety of Australia. So that really warmed my heart. Every night we're getting rated by new people, getting noticed by new people. And it's genuinely making me feel like I'm actually making it somewhere and people are recognizing me and you know, knowing who I am and I'm getting found and it's so good because I, I, before I had my stream with Bubble, which you would have seen us setting up for last week, you know, last week vlog, um, before that, I sort of went into a little, little downward spiral in terms of my success with Twitch. I was very much in my head about how Oh, you know, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not doing good enough. My content just isn't where I want it to be. And after that stream with Ella, my streams have gone from here to like up here. In terms of the quality of my content, the entertainment of my content. So I feel like I'm much more myself on there now. I don't know what happened. And also in terms of like viewership, like things have just been insane. Of course the viewer number doesn't really matter to a massive extent, but it is something that's gonna get me higher up in the future and I need to be looking at how that's going and it's been really really amazing and our community is growing every night literally on Friday we hit 3,700 followers and last night so Tuesday I hit 3,800 so it's a hundred and I'd only streamed two times I streamed Friday 3.7 Monday I streamed Tuesday I hit 3.8 which is just incredible the like I just I feel like I'm grabbing it by its balls I'm running with it and it's doing well. And I made another TikTok for just my Twitch stuff, which has sort of been hard to like keep up with purely because sometimes I can't get content out of my streams for Twi for TikTok. But there's a video that I did with Ally that has like 13,000 views. That's been really good. And that's obviously getting me exposure and my name's out there, but I do want to post more on there and get that built up. But uni, I need to be focusing on uni. I need to get in my head about uni and actually get that shit done. It's a bit of now. Yeah? I didn't even realize how bad it was before. I just want to say this jumper that I'm wearing is one of the best jumpers I've ever bought in my life. It is from Glassens. I don't know the name of it. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But it is like the softest and coziest jumper I have ever worn. I've been getting so many compliments on it because it's just so cool. It's just the same like sort of hat and all the way down. But it's like this really soft material. And it is just incredible. I love it so much. I did, I did a little shop on there when they had 20% off online. I was gonna do a haul in a separate video, but I only realized I bought like five things. I'm like, mm, that doesn't really work for a haul. So maybe I'll show you later in this video what I got, but there's some very cute pieces and I'm glad that one of them was this because it is the best thing ever. I had a slight change of plans. I had a parcel get delivered to my parents' house which I'm so freaking excited about. I had ordered some stuff from my friend's uh, vintage uh, store. I'll leave a link to it in the bio. And it finally arrived. So it came from New Zealand. These scissors are disgusting. Um, came from New Zealand and it took forever. And it is finally here. So we're gonna open it together. I am so excited to wear these pieces. They're all jumpers. Um, and a necklace, I think, if I remember correctly what I ordered. Such a cute little card. How nice is that? We have the order. So we got a swoosh chain necklace, a Harley Davidson quarter zip sweatshirt in medium, embroidered University of Nebraska sweatshirt in medium, vintage Fortzel US Army sweatshirt in large, Adidas reworked sweatshop in medium, and vintage Cabela's sweatshirt in medium. All right, this is the Cabela's sweatshirt oh my gosh look at that that's gonna be so comfy it's soft on the inside I love that these pieces have been really well taken care of so I am very happy that I got them this is the Fort Sill Oklahoma army jumper 
Again, this is so cute. They're all so cold because they've been in like transit for like three weeks. There you go, that's the chain. We have the Nebraska jumper, which this, look, this is a thinner, this is a much thinner one, which would be nice for when it's a bit warmer. But I love that. I wanted something that was bright and this is definitely that. This is the Harley Davidson quarter zip, which I love. It's got the little Harley Davidson there and the Harley Davidson print on the back. But this, I love this as well. I love the quarter zip stuff. Like, I don't know why, but it's my favorite. I feel like it's quite flattering, especially when you just wear like a single top underneath. So pretty. Adidas one, which is so cool. It's got like, um, where are they? These little elbow parts on it. But this is a reworked sweatshirt. So I am very glad I got this. It's very, very cute and cool. It's time to clean. just an ingredient list to go for a bit of a shop today which you obviously saw this morning but we're going to continue the cleaning today i didn't get too much done yesterday i just cleaned the kitchen cleaned the living room vacuumed and mopped but today i need to change my bed sheets um which i absolutely hate doing i mean i love having clean and fresh bed sheets but having to like put your bed sheets back on it's like for me it's a pain in the ass only because I'm doing it on my own. And sometimes it's really annoying to do it on your own. But it's not that bad. I'm just having a sook. But last night, mum came over. Um, she had her hair done, which I mentioned yesterday. We had some dumplings for dinner, which were really nice. And then I did a Discord movie night where we watched Star Wars Return of the Scythe, or Sith, I don't know how to say it, for Star Wars Day, May the 4th. And that was really fun. I had a couple of people in there watching it with me. And it was nice to sit down with mum and just watch it as well. We went through a couple of things for our trip, which was fun. And what we want to get up to and where we want to go. Um, but yeah, I have to tackle the rest of cleaning today. Um, I have another day without streaming, which I'm kind of sad about. I kind of want to stream tonight, but I think I have plans. I'm not 100% sure what's happening. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get all my cleaning done today because I'd love to just have it done and ready for the weekend so I can spend, you know, the weekend with my mum for Mother's Day because Mother Day, Mother's Day is Sunday here in Australia, so that's exciting. We've got a high tea that has been booked, which will be really lovely. Got to get my car service on Saturday. Got so much happening. I feel like I've, like, I booked in, like, everything that I've just needed to get done. Like, I had my flu vax on Monday, haircut on Tuesday, car service on Saturday. I've just, like... For some reason, over the weekend, I just like took a hold of my life and figured everything out. And I this week, I've just like fallen apart for no apparent reason, and I don't know why. I've just fallen apart. Also, last night, I ended up finishing one of my assessments, which was really good, so I uploaded that. I'm gonna do my last one for that unit today, which will be so nice to then officially have two units left of my course, which I'm so excited to just have that those two. 
Um, so I'm going to try to get the last one done today. I actually also need to start another assessment, which I need to get done before I do my first workshop at the end of May, which I didn't even know I had to do until I got enrolled into the workshop. So that's freaking great. So hopefully I can get that done at some point as well, but that's a bit of a longer one, which is annoying. They don't tell you these things. Another thing I want to try to do today is also go over to um, a shopping center to try and buy a jumper that I need for a friend's birthday. Basically, I've got a friend friend's birthday next weekend and we're doing a pub golf thing and we're all in different teams and I'm in green team and we need to wear sort of golf attire in our colors. So my friend found this like tartan green jumper that I want to go buy and wear that and then just wear like some black jeans or something because it's freaking freezing at the moment in Melbourne. I walked mum to her car last night and I was like, holy crap, it's actually so cold and for it to be only May and it to be this cold is very strange. So I'm definitely not going to be wearing a skirt, which was my first thought, like train of thought with this birthday. So it's going to be either jeans or leggings because it's just too cold for me to have my legs exposed. And I'm an absolute baby when it comes to the cold. I get so cold. But first things first, I am going to have some toast. I am so hungry. I had an iced chocolate. Actually, actually scoff that down. I don't know what it is. But does anyone... Okay, I'm, I just, I'm going to interrupt myself here. There's a crane. I think... Is it a crane? I don't know what it is. But there's something like out in the distance. No, I think it's like a... I think it's like smoke. But like white smoke, like steam. I'm that idiot, right? I have a very active imagination. Which is good at times. But I dead set just thought there was a fucking dinosaur in the distance. Chloe, dinosaurs went extinct before you were even a figment of imagination in your mother's mind. Okay, let's go do some toast. absolutely no idea what I last filmed but I thought I would go through what I got up to yesterday that I didn't uh, film because I did quite a little bit of stuff um, that realistically I probably should have vlogged but just didn't get my camera out but I did a lot more cleaning I put new sheets on my bed so it looks super comfy and cozy I also properly cleaned my bathroom so this is looking all nice and I like properly scrubbed the uh, shower screen because it desperately needed it. I also went shopping for a friend's birthday and I just went and got a top to wear to her party which is just like a black top with a collar because I need to be sort of like golfery sort of thing. I'm going to go buy pants tomorrow with mum which will be super fun. I also went and got brand new headphones because I'm selling my current ones that I've been using for stream just because they make my head look minuscule. So I went and got the JBL Tune 710s and they are so comfortable and nice so I'm so glad I got these. I also picked up the Nintendo Switch Sports which I'm excited to play and try. I don't know when I'm going to do that but it looks really really fun. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday but I also finished one of my units for uni which was amazing so I officially have two left to do which just feels so good it felt like such a weight had been lifted off my shoulders I made a delicious dinner I made salmon lemon and garlic thing and like baked it in the oven with some rice and it's so delicious I'm gonna have it for today for lunch but I'm gonna do that um I don't know her name Emily Emily is it Emily Marico I'm not really sure but her like infamous TikTok salmon dish that she like puts in the microwave with a bit of paper over the top and the ice on the rice. So I'm gonna do that for lunch which will be really really nice. But I think that will be the end of this video of me cleaning my apartment to the deepest extent that it's ever been cleaned which was actually quite nice. Um, I know I didn't film like a huge amount of the cleaning just because I ended up doing it like in random times where I just was like in my break of studying and I was like I don't know where my camera is so I just did it. 
um, but it's been really, really nice. So, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up. Make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Comment any video ideas that you'd like to see me do, but I will see you in the next one. It will more than likely be either a gaming video or get ready with me. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited. So I'll see you all really soon. Bye.